we have great opportunity for harvesting very healthy wild foods in our forests here in the Northwest. When you're looking at these, make sure that look for the belly button that's on the huckleberry. It's been amazing to be a student in Karen's class because it brings to life this whole other world of plants, realizing that there's such an abundance all around us all the time. Not only do we want to collect from areas that are safe, non-polluted, non-sprayed areas, but we also want to respect public lands. We've come across a really nice patch of stinging nettle. Traditionally, it was actually used as a cordage plant or in net making. What we know now is that these plants are extremely high in protein. They're high in calcium, vitamin C, iron, and many other trace minerals. We're going to be making some dock seed and dried stingy nettle crackers. Some things need to be cooked in order to make them edible, and other things we can eat directly from the landscape. Tonight for dessert, we're gonna be having cattail pollen crepes, which are stuffed with maple syrup, sweetened cream cheese, and Pacific huckleberries. What we'd like to do is invite everybody to come around the table. We have some cucumber, seaweed salad, with wood sorrel. A king salmon wrapped traditionally in skunk cabbage leaves. Acorn muffins have also come to our table. We have some dandelion wine. And there's a smoked salmon spread. We also have some pasta, which has dandelion pesto on it. It's kind of special when she does wild foods dinners. It doesn't happen all the time. My friends always make fun of me. It's <laughs> the weirdest thing you eat. And I never have an answer for them because I just there's just been a very wide variety of things. And it's really not weird. It's just wild. It's just wild. It's just different. Yeah. I always feel so alive when I eat this food. Every single day, we try to add wild foods into our diet. It makes me feel like I'm closer to the earth. It brings us together as a community. And I love that piece of it. My name is Karen Sherwood. And I teach ethnobotany, which is the study of plants and people and where they intersect.